take on that, Richard. Um, we're going to look at it now, but I mean, with the advantages that they have accrued, they have used them well. <laughs> They've made good decisions. Yeah, I don't think you look at the squad tonight, maybe Grealish is the only one that other teams couldn't compete with um, because he was a £100 million sign and, and it probably wasn't worth £100 million at the time. But Man City have turned him now into a player probably worth more. But you go through the rest of the squad and there's nobody else that Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea couldn't afford. But Man City have got a plan on how they recruit people, how they do it and what type of player they want for each position. And over the period of a couple of years, they've accumulated a squad which... It's it's not, very, it's not very the point, well it's the depth of the squad and as Brian said, they can make a mistake with it, you know, Calvin Phillips or wherever, where other clubs... Yeah, but even with Calvin to... Phillips, it's, a, it's, a, it's done on purpose because they need a certain quota of English players. So he's probably an English player that can get in of a decent quality, not on £200,000 a week or whatever it is. So the whole recruitment, they don't make many mistakes. Like Brian says, they did get it wrong at the start, maybe with a couple of players here and there. But now, over the last three or four years every single yeah. player who's come in even like you look at Alvarez he was 15, 16 million um, so well affordable for the whole of the Premier League most of Europe but City was the ones that went out and got him and I think the biggest draw to Man City is Pep Guardiola right. all the players want to play for him and how he's evolved the team even over the course of this season has been has been incredible and I think what's helped him as well is the sign of Haaland Haaland is a player who can play in one position and one style so he restricts how how much he can change the attacking force of Man City. Mm. 